Hey you guys, I'm back again. I'm user 360Cs is back. Um, for those of you that went online today and read on Nintendo Life, apparently um, Hetai Kayama, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, excuse me if I'm not, um, is getting pretty peeved at fans. Um, apparently they keep Nintendo fans up in particular keep bombarding Hetoi Kayama about putting Bayonetta in Smash and some other fans are asking him to put Beautiful Gel. Okay, this is my response. Gamers, leave this man alone. Let him do his job. Let him do it effectively. Okay, so that way his games come out better and he can think. Okay? So, that's pretty much all I wanted to say to the fans. Leave this man be. Um, I've, I have some of his tweets that he put to some of the people that just keep constantly bothering him every five minutes. And they just refuse to leave him alone. He just pretty much went off today. And these are some of the truths. Some of the truths read, I hate idiots who ask the same questions like a million times. Do do you not like Smash? Or are you just idiots that play it? Okay, that's what he wrote. I'll block Smash idiots. These are some of the tweets that he wrote today. And it basically tells the fans to just pretty much leave him alone. I think ever since the Bayonetta 2 announcement, um, he has just been been seen in, in, in the online media a lot. And I think this man's under a lot of pressure, and I think gamers should just ease back and just think, you know, and not ask this man a million questions. And if you're such a fan of his and you follow his work, Google in his name and see what he's actually talking about versus asking the man the same questions over and over and over again. Okay, um, he, I believe he has some cursing down here. But um, other than that, I kind of don't blame him, man. I mean, it kind of gets annoying and a little frustrating. It's a little unprofessional, but it kind of gets annoying to the point where a person just gets fed up, you know, and they feel like they have no way out. So that's all I wanted to make a last point to all gamers out there. Leave this man alone. Let him make our games, and then we end up happy. That's it. Bye.